a school is Salesiano Los Boscos, and it is in the city center of Logroño, in the north of Spain. It was founded in 1941 on the initiative of Maria Teresa Gil de Gal. There are 670 students and 70 teachers in the different levels that we offer. Preschool, primary, secondary, and different levels of vocational training. We did the pilot with the mentoring in school course in the school education gateway. We did two groups, one for the school which was guided by me and another one in a regional call. In any case, to be honest, I must admit I prefer face-to-face -face learning instead of online formation. I prefer face-to-face -face courses, I prefer paper and pen. If the training is online, well, much better. The course was in English, also there were many people with low digital skills and also uh, the platform didn't work as expected because there were some errors uh, when enrolling. The difficulty is when a person wants to access in the digital platform. The digital platform because of the large amount of information that it provides and it may be unclear. Personally speaking, there are many courses provided by the regional government for us to improve our teaching and hold our skills in order to do our best with our students. Teachers choose courses depending on their likes. My main source of learning is participating in European projects, such as Erasmus Plus or Etwinin. These kind of projects give me the opportunity to work with teachers of different schools from different countries while at the same time getting to know other ways of working and other ways of teaching. From my point of view, online courses are essential to get a good idea of a particular topic that will be used in class with your own students. We work in the area of education within the regional government of La Rioja. Our office is called the Teacher Professional Development Center and one of our main activities is therefore the training of teachers. In order to attend the different training needs of the teacher in our region, we offer different activities such as courses, innovation projects or school year programs related to foreign languages, science, literacy and so on. If we narrow down to courses, we offer two modalities, online courses and offline courses where teachers need to attend the training. The fact that our system issues a certificate when a teacher finishes a course serves our professionals as an incentive. In the case of online courses, what we often find is a high number of teachers who sign in. It is usually the opposite when concerning in-person courses. Not many teachers sign in due to space and time restrictions. In both modalities, around 80% of teachers get their certificate. In the last school year, we launched 115 courses and only 10 of them were online. In my school, about 80% of teachers certified and in the region, there were about 40% of teachers. The difference, it will probably be because uh, the teachers of my school were guided by me in two meetings and also in a collaborative group and in the region they were like alone, like in a normal MOOC. After the course, in the feedback that the participants gave, uh, they tell that the course was not really useful for their lessons because the content, uh, the content of mentoring it is not really useful here in Spain and also uh, that they have lack of time. There was a time that was flexible, but it, it was hard for them to connect. Training is an essential part of our job, but at the same time it is hard to accomplish because of all the amount of work we have to do in the school. But on the other hand, the participants like the flexible time for connecting, also the online possibility to connect everywhere and uh, the time 
that they have for reflecting about those topics that they never considered before. It allows me to organize my time and learn depending on my own pace. And fortunately, we work with many state-of-the-art resources, and this is an advantage for us. From my point of view, it was also a success because there were few people that knew the school education gateway before. There were like a 93% of people that didn't know before this platform and also spreading the idea that these massive online open courses are good for professional development of teachers. My main problem has been learning with a screen, but at the same time, it has been a new experience and a possibility to open my mind. The main obstacle that we find when designing new courses is generally teachers' availability. We find that the best way to fight this handicap is online training, which provides us with flexibility in terms of time and space, and also allows us to train a greater number of teachers. Our intention, therefore, is to increase this kind of training in the incoming years.